When they are experiencing the drought, that means all the crops are wasted. So our lives suffer a lot. Life is difficult here in Malawi. Itong eksenang matutunghaya nyo araw-araw. Mga citizen nila, nagmamadaling makauwi sa kanilang mga tahanan. Mga nanay at tatay, nagmamadaling masundo ang kanilang mga anak mula sa paaralan. At nagmamadali ring maibenta ang kanilang mga produkto. Ang bida sa pagpapaandar sa gulong ng kanilang pamumuhay, hindi kotse, hindi truck, lalong hindi bus, kundi bisikleta. Ile ndile sango si misla sango si kamkasa. Ndili nzaga 92 years. Nibo ndili ndi nkazi ndi ana folo. Ndi magwila nchiro zwiri. Ndi makonza zinjinga, ndi bondi magada, ndi magada asopa kwa mabamutu. Zimene zima ndigia saba moe wanga ndi zili, zimene zo. Ndi likuno kuliro ngwe. So, Saulus, how many years have you been working as a bike mechanic? In 1940. 1940. Yes. And when were you born? Ni 1931. 1931? Yes. 1940, you started working as a bike mechanic? 92, so, 92 years. So, oh, so you're 92 years old now? Yes. And you're strong, you're young. Born in that one pump. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Yes, yes. So that means, if you were born in 1931 and you started working in 1940 as a bike mechanic, that means you were only nine years old. You started working on bicycles when you're, you were only nine years old. Yes. Wow. Who taught you to become a mechanic? So what, what's the problem of Washington's bike. Ia bila cari muli, langinga, di kubu apa ukon di kunjat aku ko, dia bila cari. So there's a problem with the rim of this back wheel, which is affecting the focus. Yeah, like. And then there's a problem with the front wheel. Yeah, there's no spokes. No spokes. Other places, yeah, like. No spokes. Yeah, here. These are the spokes, or they call it spokes. Are these your tools? Yes. Your tools are uh, old and, and, and overused. So these are his tools and some are in bad shape. Um, he admits uh, he'll need to replace some of them. So I've asked Saulos if he can teach me how to fix a bike. I want to be useful, of course. So teach me, teach me please. Look at him go, working like a 20 year old and he's 92 and he's strong. You feel you're 92 years old? Oh no. Okay, take this, take this out. Show me, show me. Okay. I will be your assistant for the day. So how many bicycles do you fix in one day? 
<laughs> Sometimes he fixes five bikes. And that is good. If you get to fix five bikes. Huh? Basi! 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 Basi is okay. I passed. Ha! Good job. Good job, Washington, James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Okay, what's next? I want to help you earn. Okay, so you pump. Okay, teach me how to pump it. Well, you're strong. This has resistance. And you say you're 92? Can you do it? Can you show me? <laughs> wow. Amazing. Okay, so that's that's uh, three pesos. Mm -hmm. That's 100 kwacha. Okay, so how much in total he will be paying? 200. 200. 200. 100. Okay, so 200 kwacha for two wheels pumped. So this is done. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and how much do you earn in one day? We na tuma beza three thousand, two thousand, mena da ibes. Zimela zosima jitiga. Hi Agnes. Hello. How many years have you been uh, married to Saulus? Five. Agnes has been married to Saulus for five years already, and uh, they have been here in this house. This is not their house. He's the caretaker of this house. Someone else owns this. They don't pay any rent because this is part of his job, Saulus's job, as a caretaker. And then I noticed uh, we have a, you have no bed. So I wonder if we can do something about that. Chikomo? Chikomo. 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 We have everything that Rosalos will, will need based on what he told me. We have, so I saw that night that they are in bad need of a cot. So we have one cot that will fit the two of them comfortably. And then of course, the bicycle. He helps fix other people's bikes. He has to have his own bike. Of course, for the cot, you have the pillows. And then we have the spare tires. He doesn't know that he's on his way to receive his own bike. Of course, we got him his own tools. We updated his tools for fixing other people's bikes. We have his pump for the tires and everything else he will ever need for his work as a bike mechanic. Helping us with our planned surprise is Saulus's friend, who is taking a supposed home service call for our unsuspecting brother. He is being led to believe that he will need to pedal his way to a customer in urgent need of a quick bike repair. What he doesn't know is that we have lined up a special set of gifts for him and his wife, Agnes. I received a call to someone there. Uh, I said there is an emergency at Area 25. So you need to, to go there. There is someone sick there. You need to uh, go to hospital. So the bicycle there is uh, damaged. So you need to fix it. So he needs bicycle. to go there to yeah. fix a bicycle? Yeah, because there because is no be, anyone there. there an emergency? To, yeah. Oh, okay. So you have to go. This is happening in real time. I just got here and I have brought Saulus's wife. Sir Agnes, Miss Agnes, beautiful Miss Agnes. 
and uh, they don't know what's gonna happen. Right. They don't know what's happening. Yeah, just keep waving, let's keep waving, stay happy. And then we'll wait for Saulos. We wait for Saulos, Basi. Basi. Okay, let's stay here. Okay, oh there's Saulos. Put the bike there. Come Saulos. So, uh, come. So, Saulos, this is the bike. Is it a good bike? He likes this bike? Yes. Okay, so it's yours. So it's yours. <laughs> it's yours. It's yours. <laughs> you okay? Because you're a good guy. You're 92 and you're strong. Yes? <laughs> you okay? There's more. Open, 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 open the door. See? Yes. <laughs> okay, so you have your proper bedding, you have your you have your pillows, you have your light, and then your tools. You pump. Can you try it? <laughs> yeah. Hey. 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 Saulus and Agnes, together with thousands of our African brothers and sisters, have also been invited to the Church of Christ Scare for Humanity event in Lilongwe. These people uh, who are living here, they go through difficult times. It's a great weight lifted off of their shoulders, the burden is uh, somewhat removed when it comes to this type of activity we're having here today. We chose this venue, Sivu Stadium, because this is a center of many uh, people here in Lilongwe. And that made it very easy for the Care for Humanity program to be a success. This is not one of those new things that has happened here in Africa. Many times the church has helped uh, our fellow men on this continent here for the Care for Humanity program. And here in Malawi, we've also held Care for Humanity programs there in Blantyre and also in Salima. And now we are here in Lilongwe helping the people. It's my first time to see something very huge like this being led by the church. I, I have hope for the future that this is just the beginning. Alongside the annual charity programs, being extended is another legacy project designed and built to aid its citizens for a lifetime. These are the Nakondua and Caputo Eco Farms in Salima, Malawi.
At dito sa Nakondwa Eco Farm sa Salima, Malawi, makikilala natin ang isang bagong kaibigan. Hello, Abe! Hello, brother! <laughs> brother, how are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Thanks. Wow, thank you for having me here. Okay. okay. It's a huge eco farm. This is Nakondwa Eco Farm. Yeah. And how many years have you been living here? Four years. Four years already? Yes. With your family? Yeah. Are you happy here? I'm sure you are. Very happy. Can you talk about this eco farm? Uh, how huge is this? How many hectares huge is this? Almost the, uh, about, uh, above 250. More than 250 hectares. Exactly. And this is used for planting which soya crops? Beans. And this is used for planting soybeans. Yeah. I understand also corn. Yes, exactly. How many are living here inside the eco farm? I can combine all of them together. It's almost the, above 200. Above 200. Yeah, exactly. And that is 200 individuals, of course, multiplied by the relatives or the children and the, the family. 500 individuals. Exactly. Amazing. Yeah. Can you talk about uh, your way of living here? Like, what is your job? What do you do for a living here? A water pump operator. So you're a water pump operator? Yes. Exactly what do you do as a water pump operator? Uh, waking uh, four o'clock in the morning to make sure that the, before the anyone uh, wake up, we can up and uh, have already put the water everywhere because we use the, the same water to uh, getting the, the crops. We have okay. regard it. So you have one source pumping water to all of this. Yes. And this is your job? Yes, it's my job. Do you have anyone with you or are you alone? I'm alone. You're alone? Yes. Yeah. So you supply water yes. to, to the whole to the, uh, farm? Tanks. And uh, we use that tank to supply also water somewhere to oh. get vegetables. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Would you mind showing us yeah, the compound? Yeah, 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 I can show you. Would you mind giving us a tour? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With a combined total of 502 hectares, they have now flourished into a sustainable eco-farm that yields various produce and root crops, thus nourishing and creating jobs for thousands of Malawian residents being housed within the area. Ngayong ako ay miyembro na ng Iglesia ni Cristo, nakita ko po ng personal kung paano nga bang genuine na nabibigyan natin ng tulong at paglingap ang ating mga kapatid. At sa Malawi, Africa ko pa ito natunghayan, isang malaking biyaya po talaga. Bukod sa Eco Farms, patuloy po ang pagbibigay ng consistent na suporta, mga programa at events na katulad ng Care for Humanity para sa kanila. Nakabubusog po ng puso na makita silang masaya, nabibigyan ng lingap at nabibigyan ng pag-asa sa ang panigman ng mundo.